It's your girl, Christy, and I'm taking over from Mr. Deacon because he's feeling a little under the weather. So join me and the British Bulldog, Pete, as we talk about the Masters starting and some other sports out there that you may not have heard of. What up, Facebook? What up, YouTube? And all of social media, Mr. Deacon is not feeling well today. So guess what? You're in for a treat. BFO has taken over TMD. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> all right. So just remember, you can catch us on Patreon and UITA Radio and X Jenners and in the 365 app. Also, don't forget to go to our Fanatics link fanatics.com we will share the link somewhere in here yeah, yeah, i don't yeah, know we're we're all, the platforms, all the platforms oh yes 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 oh yes <laughs> but um so since pete and i are kind of left alone to do our own thing tonight <laughs> we decided that we were going to talk about some sports that you maybe not you maybe not hear about very often but First of all, I did want to say, Pete, I know you mm -hmm. wanted to talk some golf because didn't something start today? Oh, yes. The Masters round one in the books. Um, probably a little bit too late to start putting putting your bets on. But uh, yeah, good each way bets. Jason Day is looking good. Shane Lowry, my man, always looking good. Um, Justin Rose, always put him on each way. You know, they pay six places. So Rory McIlroy, not so clever, but. He's always in there. And of course, Tiger Woods. Everybody wants to see Tiger Woods make it through to Sunday. Okay, make the cut, Tiger. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. All right. So um, I don't follow golf. Um, it, uh, I try. It's, the, it's one of the majors. It's just, I, I, like I don't to, really, but. I like to like hit the ball more than I like to watch other people hit the ball. So, um, but I did hear there was a rumor going around about a new golfer that mm. was on a 16th hole at some major course and he didn't skip the ball off the water. He actually hit the ball onto the green. And I guess it's like a tradition that you're supposed to skip the ball off the water. And it ended up being this huge deal. <laughs> Did you hear about that? I've, I think I've seen it. Yeah, I don't know how much big a deal it is, but that's I oh, it's all over no, social I media. I, I can hit the ball in the water, no problem. It's hitting the ball. Well, no, no, no. On You've got to skip it off the water. <laughs> no and, chance. <laughs> and like everybody that went after him still tried to skip it off the water. Like they, they didn't just crank it onto the green like uh, he did. So, um. I that guess it must have been like an off. exhibition shot or something. They all no, it. Oh. it counted. It counted. Oh. I guess he just didn't know the tradition for that particular hole. I don't know. <sighs> but I find it so scandalous. I mean, like, I obviously know about this. It's got to be pretty big news. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. But it's, yeah, there we go. It's ongoing. The Augusta Masters is ongoing. Day one in the book. So I just hope and pray that I said a minute ago that tiger makes it to sunday no, no. <laughs> we got lots of stuff going on this weekend then because we got the start of the usfl which Ooh. is super exciting because our co-host aaron at smg llc has inked a deal with them so he's going to bring you all kinds of news from the usfl so we are super excited to uh have that going wow. on soon it's Good Friday tomorrow, which this probably won't be out in time. So um, Sunday is Easter. Mm -hmm. sure so is. we got that coming up. And uh, oh. we now can get into our wild and wacky yes. sport. <laughs> yes. The right. long mainstream sports. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so when right. we found out that Marcus was feeling under the weather, Pete and I decided that we were going to BFO up 
TMD a little bit. Not too much. You know, we don't want it to be too jankety and we don't want to get yelled at by Marcus. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Tekin. So um, we were giving some examples of some sports that, you know, we might like to do a little bit more research on. And we found a few that we thought were interesting. I'm going to let you go first, Pete. <laughs> First up, okay. So yeah, I'll let you hear yours first. How about how about tin bath racing? What? Okay. This is in this is in this is mainly British. This is how crazy we are. You have a small uh, tin bath, okay, you know the things. You fill oh, the yes. water, wash the kids, da 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 da, all the rest of it. One man job, get yourself out there on a I think it's a four hundred meter course. And there's hundreds of competitors all in tin baths and it's like whew, get to the end <laughs> now is this done in the water or is it done on yeah. land? no no this is in the water yeah this is in okay. the water <laughs> you know they it's they actually carve out lion pumpkins and do that too <laughs> yeah, that's well, this, this is a very yeah. real event very real annual event and uh wow it's absolute carnage <laughs> Tin oh, bath goodness. racing, Isle of Man. Go, go and search it. Wow. How well do those things float? That's what I want to know. All um, right. <laughs> yeah. You're not allowed any aids to help you. You're just one man in this bath. Oh, goodness. We're going to have to all take a look at that. We'll find that <laughs> pretty interesting, I'm sure. Yeah. All right. So my first wacky sport of the night is wife carrying. Now, I'm wow. sure most of you have seen this on YouTube or TikTok. <laughs> you know, the husband's got the wife strapped on. I mean, like legs on his shoulders, oh, you know, yeah. arms wrapped around. <clears throat> this originated in Finland. And you have to go through at least two dry obstacles and one water obstacle. And the wife has a minimum <laughs> weight limit of 108 pounds. <laughs> oh, I've seen some of these and um, some accidents and it's not, oh, it's not know, nice, exactly. is it? You can lose your teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so not good. <laughs> that's, that's quality. Well, okay, right. so. What you got next? This is a very real sport. These are all real sports, um, competitive yes. sports. Bog snorkeling. Now. What? Yes. What? Now, Say that again. Uh, bog snorkeling. Bog so, snorkeling. B O G okay. bog snorkeling. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is in Wales. This is an annual event. Okay. Very messy. They dig a trench in a peat bog. Uh, I think it's a meter and a half wide mm. by fifty-five meters. And you, you swim up it and you swim back down it again, full of water. All you've got is a snorkel, okay, and some flippers. Oh, and goodness. You're not, you're not allowed to use conventional swimming strokes either. It's absolute bonkers. <laughs> <laughs> we need to definitely find some videos of that and take a look at it. That sounds yes. interesting. <laughs> Very real sports. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, my next wacky wild sport is underwater hockey. <laughs> yes. Hockey. Oh it is played with a puck. It's got weighted nets and you've got sticks and you're supposed to try to push oh my the hockey puck um, into, you know, a, a net. Yeah. And it, it's actually called Octopush. It's not underwater oh, okay. hockey. It's actually Octo push and then we also have underwater football and underwater rugby underwater rugby <laughs> what, I, what i'm wondering is, is like why is there no underwater basketball <laughs> yeah underwater darts oh that could be yeah like the yard darts <laughs> yeah. that would be interesting now now, 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 this All one, right. this, this next sport that I've got for you actually does come with uh, ambulances supplied. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, it does. It's really <laughs> very real danger of broken bones and all that sorts. It's, it's called cheese rolling. <laughs> I've okay. heard of it. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. Now, the cheese is probably half a meter circular. You know the no, cheese is. Right. <laughs> And this is in Gloucestershire, and it's another annual event. And they roll this cheese down the hill, and the gradients are two to one or one to two. So it's quite steep. 
and there's hundreds of people at the top of the hill and they just charge down the hill okay face first what it doesn't matter just the first person to the bottom wins the cheese that's it and i mean i've seen it's not good that's <laughs> broken limbs the lot yeah, I've got a really, I've, I've got a really bizarre question when we get through our um, our wacky wild sports because I've found a common denominator with all of them, but I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so my next wacky wild sport is extreme ironing. Now I don't like ironing clothes at all, <laughs> let alone on a mountaintop or. <laughs> paragliding or well i'm water skiing i mean like who thinks of this stuff like and why like do you really need to iron your clothes that where, where, where do you do this is it up, up a ski slope or something <laughs> you can do it while you're skiing you can wow. do it oh i see you're doing you a sport do and then you're on the water <laughs> it's extreme That's you can quality. do it while you're paragliding Oh my word. I know what yeah. you'd be good at, extreme sunbathing. Yes. <laughs> Have you noticed thing, I'm but... starting to get my tan back? I got a little <laughs> color in my face because we painted the outside of the house last weekend. So That's excited. cool. Yeah, very cool. It, cool. It's actually, it's it's showing up really good in this. I got I to gotta show you this shirt. Do you remember this shirt, Pete? Oh, do I? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. For those of you that don't know, our good buddy, and admin Amen. Vince Carmel. May he rest in peace. Absolutely. His birthday was yesterday. He's been on my mind a lot lately. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was because his birthday was yesterday, but um, you know, I've been thinking a lot about him. He's was very close to both Pete and I. Um, we brought him in. He was actually in the last group as an admin with me before we started BFO, and I brought him with me and uh He's just, he was a great person. So I might give that shout out. I say we lost, we lost a good one. We haven't really, because he's up there now looking down on us, looking at us too, thinking that's, that's my brother and sister. <laughs> but he uh, loved it when I would get so excited and be like, drink the Kool-Aid, drink the Kool-Aid. So, he, oh yeah. So he got me yeah, to start. Very true. I, I appreciate no. it so much. And yeah, we love him very much. And let's give a shout out to our Gigi who lost her father also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gigi. Respect. You're thinking about you, Gigi. That's very fun. So. We do have a couple of, I'll tell you, I have, a, I have got a sport that the yeah. world record holder is a 10 year old girl. Okay, let's hear it. Is this your last wacky wild sport? Yeah, I've got tons of them. Don't worry. Oh, well, it's, we don't... it's not it's not snail racing. It's not lawnmower <laughs> racing. It's not shin kicking. That's <laughs> very, very real things. Very real things. Is it is it toe wrestling? <laughs> no, that, that, that is a sport, yes. That's oh, true. I know. No. It's um a ten year old girl holds the world record in the annual worm charming championships. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a very real sport. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get you get a three meter by three meter square, nine meter square uh, area of turf land. Okay. okay, you're not allowed to do any digging. Nothing. Is it grass? No, 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 at all. So is it you grass? Is it dirt? Simulate, yeah, no, it's grass. And okay. You sim simulate the rainfall to charm, tease the worms out of the ground. Now, this ten year old girl in two thousand nine. In 30 minutes, charmed out 567 earthworms. What? Straight up. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> that's weird. Oh, my brought. goodness. Where does this happen at? It, it's over, it's over, it's, I think it started in Cambridge over here. But it, it moves around a little bit, but it's it, primarily England. Okay, so it's not a Man. worldwide event. <laughs> well, it is because there are people that turn up from around the world to compete. So that's the truth. Yeah. So are there like famous earthworms? Jim. Jim. Jim's famous. Earthworm, earthworm oh. Jim. Yeah. Oh, no, cool. no, 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 there's no famous. I don't know. We're what talking sports. I don't so. know what you do with them after you charm them out. I suppose you just use them as bait. 
Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's what I always did. Go fishing. Oh. <laughs> All right. So anyway, on to yeah. my last weird, wacky, wild sport. All so right. this is called ferret legging. Ferret legging. I can, I've got ferret a mental image. Legging. I've got a mental image of what this might be. Go on. I couldn't believe it. Okay, so first of all, this is very popular with miners in Yorkshire, England. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and yeah. Okay. Apparently, what they do, it's a contest of endurance. Oh, I don't know, I know where this is going. The ferret or the people, but they put the ferret in their pants. <laughs> <laughs> and they try to keep the ferret there. Oh, that is dangerous. For as wow. long as possible, the last person to let his ferret out is the winner. Oh, I just think the winner, the winner's voice went up an octave. As well. <laughs> oh, no, no. Unless, unless he puts like you know ferret food in in his socks or something, you know, and I wouldn't like, put ferret food anywhere near. <laughs> no, in <laughs> your socks. Sure the ferret was fed for it went down my shorts. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but if you're going to do anything, you want to keep it away from, you know, the top of your pants. You, oh, yeah. your trousers, you want to keep it towards your socks. So you put ferret food in your socks. So you my eyes are watering thinking about it. Look. Oh. <laughs> Damn. Did you just double flick me off? No, that's my, uh. Yeah. Why? You just. Why my eyes? You keep going like, like this. You're double flicking no, me off. No, no. That, 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 that was the basketball girl. You all said she was showing her finger. Right, so yeah, oh. for the ring finger, she wasn't, she was doing both, she was doing the flip as well. No, she was doing the You Can't See Me by John Cena. <laughs> so, and you oh, know man. what, that it's crappy that she's getting crap for it. And I posted where Caitlin That's says she has the utmost respect for her and she thinks that everybody's blown it out of proportion, which everybody is, you know, leave the girl alone. Yeah. Now, this is no, this is high level sports, and you do what you do to win. Simple yeah. fact. Simple yep. fact. Shh. At least she waited until no. she knew she won. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's there is that. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, Peter. Do you have yeah. anything else to share with TMDE tonight? I think we're done. I think we're done. We covered our extreme sports. We'll, we'll return again one day. Yes. Um, Make sure you guys check out some of those extreme sports in the meantime. But we want to thank Mr. Deacon for letting us take over TMDE. Yes. We Happy want to state. thank Aaron at SMG LLC. We want to thank JB over at Hidden mm -hmm. Celebrities. And there's Zoe at UITA Radio. My Zoe is supposed to be her draw doing her drawing soon. I've got her gifts. Oh, Ray, here. Ray show dog. Ray show dog. Yes. Ray, Show Dog, Prisby, everybody no that watches us, thank you guys so much. We love doing this, and we are so grateful that you guys actually spend time to watch us do it. So, thank you, everyone. Yeah. We love yeah. you. Like and subscribe, and, and yes, as Mr. Mr. Deacon would say, "Go, go Browns, Browns, bitches!" bitches. <laughs> See you next week. Yes.